Hello, and welcome to another edition of On Capitol Hill. I am Nan, Federal Affairs Manager for the National Taxpayers Union, and this week in the House, it's Budget Week. The House kicked things off with H.R. 1871, Baseline Reform Act, and H.R. 1872, the Budget and Accounting Transparency Act. Both bills constitute significant reforms to the budget process and will help taxpayers for decades to come understand the real cost of government. H.R. 1872, the Budget and Accounting Transparency Act, puts loan programs like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac on budget so that we can see the true cost involved when we expose taxpayer dollars to risk. But the big show this week is HCON Res 96, the annual budget. This week, the House is taking up the Ryan budget, which has some significant reforms in that it balances the budget in 10 years, it imposes some tax reform, and it block grants Medicaid to the states. There's also five substitute amendments, the RSC budget, progressive caucus, the Congressional Black Caucus, the President's Budget, and the Democratic Caucus. May the best budget win. Unlike their counterparts in the House, the Senate is not taking up a budget this year. Apparently they're happy with the bad deal that taxpayers got in Ryan Murray. They are looking at S-2199, the Paycheck Fairness Act. This misnamed bill aims to eliminate pay disparities, pay disparities between men and women. The problem here? There aren't really these disparities. Any differences in pay is largely attributed to educational differences, choice of career, and lifestyle choices. So this is another case where the Senate is taking up a bill that will actually hurt employment choices for many instead of getting down to the real business of getting people back to work. You can learn more about all these bills online at ntu.org.